Hello friends, how are you today? I hope you have an amazing and beautiful day. Today I'm going to show you in this video how you guys can get your driving license in Thailand for a motorcycle or car, how you can pay your tax for a car and motorcycle and how you can renew it again. To be honest, actually, uh, today was my fourth time that I went to the office. It's called DLT, Department of the Land and Transport. So I went to this place to renew my driving license, but unfortunately today also they closed according to the situation. However, I think it's better that I come out of that place and I come to this amazing and beautiful environment. This is the Chatuchak Park. And then I can exactly explain you step by step how you can go through all this process. So stay with me in this video. And if you're new to this channel, I'd be appreciate if you guys subscribe and follow my channel and enjoy my informative and sightseeing video so let's get started so let's start first with the driving license at the beginning let me tell you something guys if you live in thailand or you're planning to come here travel please provide your driving license if you don't want to get a driving license here so you can use the international license uh, i believe the mention of you mentioned the website of this place so you can check exactly in there because sometimes you don't accept the international license from some countries so just beware and second if you want to drive around if you want to live here and you know about the language barrier here in Thailand so it's better you get your driving license in here this is quite easy and it's a very very easy process first of all there is some document that you guys have to provide it let me show you this is a document I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Let me read carefully. They said here, first of all, for the motorcycle and the car, both are the same. You have to pre prepare your passport with the visa, original and photocopy. The second one is the original present residence address in Thailand that certify from the embassy or immigration barrio or your work permit. So this is actually very important. If you guys live here and you have a work permit, let's make it easier. If you don't have a work permit, you just have to go to your embassy to certify your address or immigration barrier that they set here. Number three, original medical certificate. Of course, you have to get some certif uh, certificate from the doctor or some clinic about the disease. This is actually a very normal checkup for a five disease. Uh, it's nothing special. There is, they don't need for a COVID test. They don't need for HIV or something like that. No need a test plot, only like a general check. And then after that, also they said not more than one month. And number four, original and photocopy of the international driving license. If you have it in, conven in convention of the 1949, that's a regulation. Or driving license, uh, I mean, local driving license, which is a Thai, and that's it. So these are all the documents that they need for renew and also start a new application to getting a driving license. So first of all, you have to prepare this document. After that, then you provide all the documents. They said here, if you're qualified in number four, which is uh, your international license, you have it already, you have to take a physical test. So the process is like this. You prepare the documents, then you will go for a physical test. That uh, you can see the small example here, but I'm not supposed to show you this. Uh, the physical test is quite actually easy. Uh, there is some machine that we have to like, first of all, there's eye testing that we see the light. If is it red or if is it green, you have to click the button. And then they have a, like the stop gear, like the stop, uh, you just tap on something to stop when the line is coming up. And uh, the, the third one, as I for as far as I remember, it's something that you have to like set it with the line. Uh, like you have two keypads on the left and right to move to the left, move to the right, and then make it exactly on the same line, which is not that hard. For sure you can pass it. Uh, this is a physical test. After that, uh, if you're new, just want to get your license, you should train for five hours. They said here, training five hours. After that, you go for a theory test. 
is a multiple choice. There is some machine that uh, you can see it here. And uh, you see it, take a test. If you pass this one, after that, you will go to the practical test. The practical test is in the area that you will see it again in this video. For a motorcycle, different area. For the cars, it's different area. Uh, you can bring your motorcycle or your own car to take a test, it's up to you. Or not, you can rent it here. Uh, for a motorcycle and car, each time you can rent it for 100 baht and take a test. And if you pass the test, then in the same day, you can get your driving license. So remember, dress well because you're gonna go to take a photo and in the same day you can get the, your license. And also, as they mentioned here, the time is 8.30 in the a.m. and until 2 p.m. for a training, for a training test. Uh, the fee for the car is 205 baht and for the motorcycle is 105 baht. So after you pass all this process, you will get your license. As far as I remember, for the car, first you will get uh, the two years license also for motorcycle. After that, when you renew it, you get five years license or up to 10 years. It depends on the nationality again. Uh, however, for a Nini, uh, oh, sorry guys, for renew it, you don't need to take, uh, you just prepare the documents and you don't have to uh, training for five hours. Uh, that's make it much, much easier. But be careful that before your license expired, go and renew it. So that's for a license. Let's go for a tax and insurance, how to pay it. The last but not least is the tax and insurance. Uh, let me put it into two categories. First of all, if your motorcycle or your car is new, is not older than five years old, then it's okay. It's much easier and faster. You just have to bring your green book and blue books for a car and motorcycle with the valid insurance for your car and motorcycle. And if you don't, if you don't have it, also in the area of a DLT, you can find the many insurance company and get it again and go on to the this place so for motorcycle you will go to this place and for the car it's a different place which is a building number two and you have to go there if your car or motorcycle older than five years old then before you go to these places you have to go to the some mechanic place which is you can find it all around the dlt area some place like this that you can just bring your car motorcycle in there uh, you just have to wait for the queue they will check your bike and motorcycle if it's okay if there isn't any problem with the light or with the engine and they give you some paper and then you will bring that paper to the same place again with your insurance and your green book or blue books and that's it they're gonna make the new tax and yeah only new tax that you will see there's some uh, square paper with a pink color inside that uh, there's like tie years in there. They mentioned it in there. That's also for the tax and for the insurance is optional. You can get some uh, like government insurance, which uh, I told you you can find in the DLT office or you can get some private insurance from different company. This is your choice. Well, that was all the information about the driving license tax renew it and insurance if you guys have any question don't forget to ask me in the comment section below and uh, as i said about the international driving license which uh, many people they want to know if they accept it or not in thailand yes it's accepted but it depends on your nationality not all the international license accepted in thailand just beware and you can check with the dlt office again which is uh, quite easy it's not a difficult job Hope you guys enjoyed this informative video. Anywhere in this beautiful world that you stay, please stay safe and stay healthy. And I hope you enjoy this beautiful environment. And uh, don't forget to visit the Chatuchak Park when you travel to Thailand or if you live here. It's a very nice environment. Stay safe. I will see you on the next video. Peace.